I'm Evan Hammonds for Bloodhorse.com. We're here on this January day at Darley Stud outside Lexington to look at Bernardini, the chosen stallion to breed to Zenyatta, the 2010 Horse of the Year. We're going to take a look at the stallion and we're going to talk to Jimmy Bell, the president of Darley America. He was always a very uh, forward type individual, even as a young foal yearling uh, and certainly as a two-year-old. I uh, recollect him being at Saratoga and uh, we're hopeful that we'd get a start down at Belmont with him. He had the typical little two-year-old this, two-year-old that, and had a, uh, uh, a throat infection, which in and of itself was not a big deal, but if we didn't stop and pay attention to it, it could have been a big deal. So we lost a lot of time in the fall year of his two-year-old year. Tommy wanted to run him at Belmont. We wanted to get a couple races into him before we went to Florida. Uh, the weather caved in, and Tommy said, you know, I just don't want to run him over a bad track. Let's take him to Florida. A lot of anticipation as uh, we have been very hopeful throughout. Uh, his first race was not quite as uh, auspicious as everybody had hoped. It was a fourth, fourth place and after all this build up, uh, your first starting to be fourth, you said, well, you know, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't exactly the uh, living up to what we had hoped we might see. Um, he came back and broke his maiden very impressively, I think by seven or so links at Gulfstream and all of a sudden was just everything he was doing was, was like breaking sticks. Uh, very quickly we decided to maybe test him for a little more class and we shipped him back to New York to run in the Withers and uh, uh, John had been in contact with Sheikh Mohammed and said sir I think we've got a, a nice developing three-year-old here and sure enough when he won the Withers uh, John spoke with Sheikh Mohammed and said one of the options would be the Preakness uh, certainly a big step but uh, Sheikh Mohammed uh, gave a great endorsement and said let's, let's, let's give it a shot and was very happy for us to proceed uh, obviously after the Preakness the cars began to play themselves and uh, uh, went to Saratoga and that time from the Preakness to Saratoga just a tr transformation in him just physically and mentally just really grew up got stronger and always always very very poised um, ran the in the prep race for the Travers and the Jim Dandy and of course the Travers being what it is the Midsummer Derby uh, great recollections of that day uh, it was one of the, unfortunately a very oppressive, very hot, very humid uh, Saturday afternoon at Saratoga. Every person, every horse was dripping water from everywhere and then walks in Bernardini. Never turned a hair, never had a sweat mark and just all of a sudden any nerves that we might have had all of a sudden looking at him said, whew, boy, he's in total control. And that's really was his, his keynote. He was such a mentally tough, uh, great demeanor of a horse that uh, I'm certain that paid a part of his success and then to go on to the jockey club and beat older horses uh, all by wide margins and uh, to lose to uh, Invasor in the Breeders' Cup Classic was certainly no disgrace given the record that uh, Invasor had had as an older horse winning the Dubai World Cup and uh, running second there so an absolute fantastic run with a, a, a really powerful and really impressive horse. I know you're going to have some pictures of him and I would certainly say a picture's worth a thousand words so I'll, I'll be brief. I'd say a couple words, tremendous balance and great power and uh, a very smooth, very, uh, just a very impressive individual. Uh, he's a horse that no matter where he is or what he's doing, he always looks balanced, he always looks, uh, he just never makes a bad move or never has an angle that doesn't flatter him. So I would think he'd be a very hard part, a uh, very hard horse for anybody to pick apart physically and uh, again all those pieces make up who he is and, and to go with that uh, intelligence and that demeanor and that mental toughness that he possessed uh, really makes him a complete package. So many times you get a, a specific trait that you get or you're looking for in any sire but uh, his, his specific trait might be diversity and ability to do all things under all situations which he's demonstrated in a very short period of time. You know out of a quiet American mare and, and uh, Interestingly enough, uh, it, it looks as though that cross has worked already. We've had the success of, of uh, I think Jill Bab was a filly, um, an APND filly of, of Sheikh Mohammed's that won the coaching club American Oats going a mile and a half uh, out of a Mr. Prospector line mare. Uh, and I think uh, Flashing was another APND filly that Sheikh Mohammed raced uh, for Godolphin here in America and she won the ballerina going 7-8. So I don't think that's been tried too often, but a, a phenomenal across already of the APND over the over the Mr. Prospector line certainly through street crowd It'd be very very interesting from that angle. He certainly demonstrated his class on the racetrack. Uh, I know that anybody and everybody that sees him physically falls in love with him 
And uh, I think that uh, you know there there's there are many similarities. I, it would be great to see. I don't I can't think of two individuals whose whose uh, mental demeanor and deportment and toughness of what a Bernardini and and certainly the great Zenyatta had. Uh, I think that's an intangible that we can't really put our fingers on. But but when it happens, you're glad to see those type of horses that can that handle all situations, uh, not only themselves but in the racetrack, but crowds and and be able to perform under those those situations. So. Uh, certainly, Team Zenyatta uh, did their homework and looked at a lot of different attributes, and uh, I think they they probably recognized that uh, a horse that was such a, a nice three-year-old and, and really more of a classic type has gotten off to the start that we just discussed with so much diversity and so many different uh, uh, types of individuals doing so many different types of things. So. Uh, I think I'm, I'm sure they're they're pretty happy from a confirmational standpoint, uh, the pedigree and. And uh, I would like to think that they're certainly looking to breed class to class.